under the lights as the show gets you. Here now is Trey Turner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off for the Cubs. The shortstop. First pitch Play. on its way. Turner. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The second base. Now to the plate. Here is Roberto Alomar as the switch hitter will bat right-handed here. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Batting third, the right fielder, number 24. At the plate now, Eric Davis. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. That can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count, and if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. Fielded cleanly. Galvis relayed a first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. For the Orioles. As he will take strike down. one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Mountcastle. Called strike 0 and 2. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Made a that miss on the off speed pitch the that time. Ryan Mountcastle oh, is retired for the first hey. out here in the bottom half of the first. Fouled away. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Batting third. The first Trey Mancini baseman. is in with Trey. two away now as he looks at a Mancini. called strike one. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. He chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Ryan. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Popped him up. Ruiz is there. One down. Next to stand in is Kirby Puckett. First pitch on its way. Fastball that gets the inside corner strike one. He's had some success so far but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes. Oh and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Gone. Into the box Jason Giambi. As he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And they'll get the ball back in quickly, holding him to a single. In now, Joe Carter. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The relay throw. And he is in there with an RBI triple. The catcher, Yerman Mercedes. So now to the plate, Yerman Mercedes. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Santander is there. Let's see if they test it. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Batting up. So next to hit is Matthew, Matthew Boyd. Boyd. First pitch of the A.B. now. Now the 1 0. Lifted in the air to center field. And Hayes will make the catch. This side is retired.
last half of the second set to go and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder Anthony Santander the right field now a fastball Anthony. on the inside corner and he takes a look Santander. at strike one and this catches the zone as well it's 0 and 2 now let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here change his eye level or bounce something in the dirt count is one and two now drives it out to deep right center field long run for the center fielder and he tracks it down nice play for the first out next up Freddie Galvis the second baseman ready a fastball Galvis. here and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left Galvis behind 0 and 2 boy so far early into this one this guy's pitching really well and I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the that ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so Rio far early on, Rio. a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Liner toward right center. But this is taken in out there in the alley as he got a good jump on that ball in center. Top of the third set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Trey Turner. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Here's the pitch. Roberto Alomar checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. Ready now is Eric Davis. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Popped up. Mancini in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. The third base. Here's Ryan McMahon now. High in the air out to center field. Hayes able to track it down for the bottom of the third now. And next to hit is the catcher, Pedro Severino. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And it's fouled away. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Batting in. The left field. Fouled off. Number 24. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Zach Lowther is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the end. All set for the start of the fourth. And in next is Kirby Puckett. A little bit of a unique home run on that last one. A changeup in off the plate that he pulled for a home run. Not a real good. Meanwhile now, this is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The first baseman, number 25. To the plate now, Jason Giambi. As he'll take a look at ball one. One for one with a single so far. Ah. 
And a strike to even the count. One and one. What a well executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that ball. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. One down with a runner at second, and up next, former World Series hero Joe Carter. Now here's the first offering. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. One out and a runner on second base. Lined hard to center field. Hayes is there now and he has it two gone. The relay. Throw back to second and that's a double play. So here is Ryan Mountcastle. He's 0 for 1 Leading thus far. For the Orioles, the Fouled shortstop. away. Ryan Mountcastle. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change. One and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. So we got him looking there. Ryan Mountcastle is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. And it's fouled away. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, Fred. and there are two away. Man. Sends that one out of play for strike one. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Hit back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next, the dangerous power threat, Herman Mercedes. Belted high and deep into right center. Hayes on the run for it at the track. But he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting the pitcher. Matthew Stepping in now, Matthew Boyd. Boyd, as he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. High in the air out to center field. Hayes is right there, one down. Next, here is Trey Turner. He's a gold player who's particularly known for being a speedster on the bases. Now, here's the first offering. He swings and grounds it to short. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. The throw home. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The bat. The second base. At the plate now, Roberto Alomar. And he puts it on the ground to second. Galvis is there. In time to first, and there are two away. Stepping up is Eric Davis. A hit in two tries so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. Adam Pletko takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Into the box, Ryan McMahon. Line drive base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Kirby Puckett digging in now. 
A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded the now with two gone. At the plate, Jason Giambi pulled toward right center field. On the run is Santander. One run scores. And this one bounds around against the wall. Two runs are in. The runner from first crosses the plate. It's 7 0. And the relay throw is right by him at third base. The left fielder, number 29. Joe Carter. So now to the plate, Joe Carter. This is hit pretty well out to left field. A ball that's carrying. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Dylan Tate, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Into the box now, Yerman Mercedes. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A hit in two tries for him so far. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Really deceptive changeup right there. It died right before the plate, and he was left reaching for air. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. He'll start Leading things off. out in the Lord home half Orioles. of inning number five. The right As the field. first pitch here is a bit Anthony. high, it's ball one. Santander. A high fastball is in there. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. A ball and two strikes now. Fouled off. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. The batter, number two. Freddie Galvis Freeman. is in for the second Freddy. time here as he looks at a ball Galvin. high, 1-0. and oh. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout the number 11 the in the ball game. Here's a blooper out toward left center. In comes the left fielder. And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. On the ground softly towards second. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. At the plate now is DJ Stewart as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Ah, oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ruiz on second. Severino at first, two out in the inning. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the. Now to the plate, the pitcher Matthew Boyd. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Matthew, way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat, and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Rounded softly down the line toward first. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Stepping in once again is Trey Turner. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch lifted in the air out towards left center and he will make the play out there and there are two away now digging in the switch hitter Roberto Alomar he's working on a one for three thus far and he popped him up Galvis has a play and he makes the catch to retire the side. 
Ramon Urias is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far hitting nearly all of his spots and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Ryan Mountcastle stop. is in with oh, one yeah, away yeah. now as he swings and misses here at strike Castle. one. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. First pitch of the AB the on its man. way. The seven Austin game. Hayes Austin. started to go around, but it's a called strike 0-1. Hey. In there, strike two. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0 2? Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Wade LeBlanc comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. And the pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan McMahon. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. LeBlanc has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boyd, every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing he's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. A pause and the 0 2. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. But taken in over at first for the second out, as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Next, it'll be Kirby Puckett singled in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Line drive to center field. And Hayes will make the catch. This Ladies side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. And here comes the first baseman, Trey Mancini. And he swings through the a fastball baseman. and doesn't catch up Trey. with it. It's 0-1. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball yeah, game. Anthony Santander is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1 and 0. Fastball taken a little under the letters called a strike. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. The second base Freddie Galvis Freddie. is in for the third time now as he Galvin. takes a called strike. It's 0-1. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. And that yeah. will conclude matters. Leading off with the cut, the first baseman, Jason Giambi. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. The left field, number 29. Stepping in now, Joe Carter. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. So far, two for three in this one. A one count. Here's the pitch. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Santander waits on it. One out. So next to bat will be Herman Mercedes, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Line drive base hit. 
Giambi isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And the runner stuck in a pickle between third base and home. And they will tag him out in a rundown. And that is Bonehead City right the there. The pitcher, Matthew. In now, Boyd. Matthew Boyd. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team. And the shortstop is under it to make. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. One for two on his line so far in the game. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0 and 2. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Struck him out. The 18 strikeouts for him now. Pedro. Pedro Severino is at the plate Severino. now, and he takes a cold strike. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will track it down. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. And he will make the play. Two away now. Ready now for Baltimore. DJ Stewart, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Into the corner and slicing foul. And another foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Strike three. 19. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Flew Steven, out last time Chicago. up. The shortstop. Trey. First delivery to him. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Love that pitch. As long as you actually get it inside, like he did right there, the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. Oh. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So stepping now, in is Roberto Alomar. Base. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Swing and a liner. Throw oh. won't be in time as he reaches it first. Now that. Number 24. At the plate now, Eric Davis. He'll roll over it and send it to shortstop. Scooped up. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Now at the plate, here is Ryan McMahon. He's got one hit in four at bats. Here's the first pitch to him. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Hey, that's a huge set to tone pitch right there. To a great hitter, you do not want to fall behind 1 0 and have him sitting all over a fastball or guessing what you throw next. You get ahead. Home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. And they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. Isaac Matson will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Cedric Mullins will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. And this one is gone. A home run. To the plate now, Jason Giambi, as he hits one on a line to left field. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. The left fielder, number 29, Joe Carter. Standing in now, Joe Carter. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball.
lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side. Into the box now, Cedric Mullins. Leading off for the Orioles. Standing in from the right the side fielder. as he takes strike Number one. 31. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. This is foul right side. And he looks at a ball one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there. 0 and two. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Carter is there and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for one away as with one away he won't catch up with the fastball and it's 0 and one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Sent on the ground out to second. Taken by Alomar. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. And now in the box, Austin Hayes. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down, and this ball game is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? 12 0, the rather convincing shutout final score. The Cubs scored 12 times in round two a win tonight. Matthew Boyd pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out the show.com. Three hours and 32 minutes.